good morning guys it is currently 6 37 p a.m right now and i'm getting ready to go to the hospital um i'm just gonna freshen up my curls they told me to go in about 7 10 or so so i'm just gonna brush out my hair <coughs> and make myself look decent i already have my bags packed heard of everything so i'm just gonna put in some last minute things and then Made me go buy some snacks and some breakfast because I'm sure that's gonna be my last meal of the day. So, let me just freshen up my curls. <coughs> I'm not nervous yet or anything, but mostly excited. I'm gonna be a little nervous too. <laughs> I'm just gonna freshen up my curls. I am using the Conair 1 inch curling iron. I love these curlers. I have like a lot of the sizes. So, <coughs> <coughs> yeah. I'm so sad I have to leave my baby. <laughs> Hey guys, update. It is currently 6.25. Um, we actually got to the hospital. 6.25 p.m. We got to the hospital at, like at 7.50. And we checked in and they got us a room like an hour later. Probably like at 8.50. And then we just came in and then they gave me medicine to put up my thingy. And it was called Cervidil, I believe. And with my other baby, they gave me Pitocin, but this one they did Cervidil, and they inject, they put it up there at 12 a.m. So it's been six hours and a half already, and that should help me dilate and soften up my cervix, and I am having contractions already. They're at, I would say they're four out of ten in pain, a lot of pressure, but yeah. I've been eating just liquids because I can't eat anything. Liquids and jello. This is my second meal. I had my other meal like at three, which is lunch, and this was dinner. So, yeah. We're just here waiting. Hopefully, Freeman's sleeping. Oh, also, my hips are sore and my back is like hurting as well because of the contractions. And. It's having a contraction. So it is currently going to be nine PM. It is eight fifty one right now. 
and the medicine's been in there for not, for going on nine hours, and I'm having a lot of contractions now, and they're getting really painful. I'm actually starving. I feel dizzy. Like my blood sugar's kind of low because I haven't eaten. As you can see, my blushed rosy cheeks here from the pain. I have no makeup on, just mascara. And uh, I look really hydrated, which is good. I love that. My skin looks really plump and nice. But I'm having contractions now. So they're going to come take out the medicine at 12 in the morning. And then they're going to check if I'm dilated. I really think I am. Hopefully I get the epidural after that because this is painful. My boyfriend was here but he actually went out and went to go get sushi. He's gonna go eat real fast. I'm so jealous. But he's gonna bring me back some thing to drink. And uh, we'll see. These are all my contractions and my stuff. Joey, he's at home. I miss him, but Grandma's taking good care of him. She always takes care of him, always only her all the time. And he has a buffet going on. <laughs> he's eating everything. That's cute. He was so excited to see me because I FaceTimed them, and he was so excited. But uh, yeah, I'm just gonna. I'll check up on you guys later. I'm actually watching The Walking Dead on my phone and Netflix, so that's exciting. I'm in season season three. I've never watched it before. Episode three, I believe, or episode four, and it's getting interesting. So, hey guys, so I wanted to jump into this video and explain what happened. Well, my my delivery did not go as planned as how we wanted so i am here because i had to get a emergency section and it is um a month already four weeks since the day that i gave birth so yeah we had to get me into emergency c-section because um when the doctor came to come break my water i was eight eight centimeters and when she broke my water she just put her fingers in and my water broke literally like i think it was about to break on its own but as soon as she popped it, or it popped, well, instead of the baby's head coming, he actually put out his little hand first instead of the head. So she tried to hold his hand there so he could put it back in, but it was like so much suction that he, she wasn't able to. So uh, yeah, I was able, I wasn't able to film anything because they literally took like two minutes to decide to do a C-section. So they rushed me to the back where the surgery room was and I couldn't film and after everything I didn't really film because I was in so much pain and so much shock and I was like super numb like from my neck down like I couldn't move well I could move my arms a little but I was feeling like a little weird and my feet I cannot move at all <laughs> it was crazy and my stomach was numb everything was numb but yeah that is the reason why i did not vlog sorry my appearance appearance too i've been having these rashes all like random rashes like everywhere and i don't know what it is i think it's like uticaria or something like hives like cold from the cold well that's what i've been reading about but yeah um so everything's been going crazy my c-section was all right if you guys want a more in detail video on my c-section uh, let me know because i will do that but yeah you guys enjoy the rest of my video and this is after after the c-section so yeah um uh, it took me like four days to heal after like four days to heal from the outside I guess a week 
I could say but at four days I could get up a little easier than the first couple days but it was really painful to like get up from bed and like go to the restroom it was like the worst thing ever but as soon as she said oh we're going to the emergency c-section I started bawling my eyes out because right nobody ever wants a c-section especially if your first delivery was like really regular like normal like baby was head down like like i don't know what happened but everybody was getting c-sections that day which sucks because that's really really a coincidence actually like i feel like they did it on purpose because they had so many patients to like see in c-section only took like 15 to 20 minutes to finish literally it was crazy because i already had my um i already had my what is it called the the thing that numbs you the epidural so they just numb me more but yeah it was crazy um i was kind of pissed that they had to do it because i'm like if you would have tried harder to put the little hand in like or even if the little hand was out but um, as you guys know my doctor did retire and like all the patients went to these other doctors so i feel like they were super busy and there's like everybody getting c-sections but i feel like it was preventable but i don't know i wasn't down there like touching anything so it's kind of ridiculous and i'm kind of mad about that but whatever but anyways here enjoy the rest of the video and you guys want a uh, in depth video of my labor and delivery story let me know in the comments because i will do that i'm sorry about the like but yeah i feel a little i feel so much better now if you guys want to see my stomach now this is like one month postpartum one month this is what i look like I feel like I need to wear my faja more, but yeah, I did not get any more stretch marks than I already had, or kind of, I guess. Excuse the redness, but that's from like me scratching because of all the ra the rashes and stuff. Like literally, you guys can see it right here. Like it is so annoying to have some right here, right here, in my eye area. I'm just hoping it goes away so fast so I can get into these videos because. Like, I don't want to put makeup on my face and, like, make it irritate more, you know? So, yeah. I'll let you guys enjoy the rest of the video. But thank you so much for you guys for watching this video. And just go ahead and finish. And when you're done, um, hit that subscribe button and like button for the algorithm of YouTube for it to be better. So they can show my YouTube video. And, yeah, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.
Because I got my chair at Target. I can't order it. Because it's like in 70.